pencil with pineapple papers and I am super excited to join this wonderful bunch of YouTubers um, in a new adventure for the summer. It's a summer series and it is called How to Kill a Kit with Style. So there's a couple of things that they're doing. So they're either taking like old kits or collections that they have that they want to kill or combining um, a couple of those together or um, just making one from their stash. So I have transitioned in my scrapbooking. Initially when I started scrapbooking it was basically anything I could get from Michael's or Joann's or a local craft store. That's where all my paper came from. It was you just bought single sheets um, and a couple paper pads. Um, and then I slowly started working into collections and now I am loving the whole kit thing where people put in together. But I do have all of this stash and I love products so I do buy stuff. So I decided I was going to make my kit out of my stash. So I went through um, my loose papers and just kind of pulled a collection of completely randomness. <laughs> I don't know that there's a huge method to this other than I kind of used this paper as a jumping off and this is an American crafts paper and it is from Joanne so it's that super thin paper and this is kind of where I started the color palette from so then I just went through loose papers and pulled them so I'm going to show you the papers and then I'll show you the embellishments that I pulled so I have this one now this piece is from a paper pad. Um, my intention is to use this side. It's kind of like a tone on tone pink. This is the opposite side. Um, and this to me looks like something you would find under a microscope. So um, I don't think I could bring myself to use that <laughs> unless it was for a matting. And then this piece I have no idea where it's from. It is double-sided. It's a pink and yellow floral and then a yellow and blue stripe. This is just a piece of uh, pink number three from Die Cuts with a View cardstock. This is a super fun yellow piece of ledger. Um, and this is the other side. This is from Farmhouse Paper Company. This is from 2012 and it is called Desktop. Um, so I, I like both sides. I figure they were quite versatile. This piece is from that same collection and it's called ASAP. Um, also from 2012. And I picked it more for this green and yellow for the green and yellow in this paper even though they may not even go together. So there's this piece of pink canvas texture from um, Coordinations um, and that's just a piece of cardstock. This is another American Graphs thin piece of paper from Joann's. This is a crepe paper piece. It is from random collection called Modern. Um, so it has like an orange tone on tone stripe and then it has uh, blue on blue butterflies on that side. This is from a paper pad and these are papers that I had like ripped apart and they're just put in color coordination in a stack. So um, this is a pink ledger. This one is from this is a My Mind's Eye piece, I believe. I already cut off the branding strip. So I liked all these labels. I thought, well, that would be fun maybe to fussy cut, um, but this is a good neutral as well. Another piece of kind of corally cardstock, which is definitely the color of these flowers. Um, a yellow coordinations from 2014, yellow with white polka dots. Um, this piece, I believe I got in a quick quotes kit, um, and it's just a black and white script. I did try to add a few neutrals in, um, 
This is American Crafts and it is a black background with white flowers. Another coordination, this one is called a uh, Light Aqua Trellis. This is 2016. This is a Recollections piece from Michaels. Um, Aqua Ledger is what it's called. Um, and I've had that one for a while and I really like it. I actually really like it as a background, even though you could very easily fussy cut all of these pieces out. And then the last piece that I picked randomly is a blue and white star paper. And this I believe is from a paper pad as well. So that's what I have for papers. And then embellishments, I did go a little crazy um, because that's kind of what I do and I like to have lots of options. Oh, and I did grab one six by six paper pad. I grabbed the Cute Girl collection because I have two of these six by six paper pads. So I thought that would be a good idea. And it has similar colors to um, what I chose. Okay, so the first piece are just some tiny word stickers from Fancy Pants Happy Place. And I don't have a ton of these left, so I kind of thought that would be a good thing to try and use up. This is Bella Boulevard Paper Pieces Make Your Mark. So that is a new pack to me. So what I was thinking when I made this was I wanted to use some of the old supplies that I had that I wanted to use up, but I wanted to bring in some of the new things that I bought um, to just kind of keep it exciting. Um, these are wood veneer from Craft Market, and I think I've used just the heart out, the heart and one of the arrows out of this pack. So this is super old. It's a Studio G chipboard stickers. It only has five pieces left. So I thought, well, maybe if I put it in the kit, I'll use it. Um, I may not. We'll see. Um, these are some flea market fancy paper clips that say love and hello. From We Are Memory Keepers. Flower Girl. I have this one puffy sticker left. So I don't see why I can't get that one puffy sticker on a layout. I have quite a few labels from Pretty Little Studio from Blooming Hearts. I thought that was a good kind of like overall piece because you, you seem to use a lot of labels. So good to have those. Along with the labels, um, tiny word stickers are really fun. Um, so these are the tiny word stickers from Pink Paisley C'est La Vie, and they're really pretty. They are black with gold foiling. And then I believe this, this is from American Crafts, but it is for Hobby Lobby. And I think this is their version of some stickers that go with that C'est La Vie collection. So I did pull that. And then... These are Remarks Documentary, um, and they are just some dimensional stickers as well. From the Flea Market Fancy, I have these bows, and they are so cute. Okay, so then... These are some epoxy paper clips from Freckled Fawn, and they have some fun things on them. I got some wood veneer from Little Yellow Bicycle, and it's Explore, Discover, Vacation, Adventure, Journey, and Travel. Travel. Um, and I'm really bad about making titles. So I definitely needed something to help me with that. And I did get some thickers for that as well. So this ephemera pack is from Amy Tangerine. And 
And I'm trying to see what it's called. I'm not sure. This is actually my second pack of this. So, focus, there you go. Um, so I thought it had some fun, kind of randomy type things. So I have used one pack of this. So I figured, why not bust into the next one? And then I love these rubber charms. Um, but I, I haven't seemed to get them on a page yet. These are from October Afternoon, and they're from Five and Dime. There was six in them initially, and I still have five left. So these are from 2011. I kind of feel like October Afternoon, to me, is like timeless stuff. So I'm really sad they're gone. Um... So this is Echo Park's Jack and Jill, and this is the girl collection, and I only have a few pieces in there. So that's kind of why I pulled that. And then I have these gold hearts from my Secret Not Secret, and I think these were Pink Fresh Studio. And as you can see, they were very well loved. Um, so I would like to continue the love and maybe use the rest of them. So same with the heart themed. <laughs> These are foil epoxy stickers and they have gold foiling on them. So I was like, those would just go so perfect with those regular gold hearts. So I'm going to include those. And then I didn't feel like I had enough chipboard. So I have this Project Life Playful that has a ton of little chipboard pieces in here. Um, and I think there are several sheets. I just shoved them into one, yeah. So I have these three sheets, and I thought they were super cute, so I wanted to add those. Um, I, along with the titles, I have this Happy Thoughts. I figured that was a good one. And so speaking of titles... Um, I have this set from Dear Lizzie Hello, and I have yes and okay, a couple hearts, an exclamation point, and another heart, and that's it. So I pulled that, and then these black thickers, and they are from You and Me. So I figured there's, there's a good amount of titles on there or something that I can add. And then, almost done, guys. <laughs> I know it's a lot of stuff, but I, I really wanted to play. So this is Amy Tan, and these are the clear stickers. Um, gosh, I wish I could see what collection they were from, and it doesn't say. But this is the same as the ephemera pack. So... I kind of pulled, if I had like two things that went together from the same collection, um, I pulled a little bit of it together. Um, so on that same note, I pulled the Simple Stories So Fancy, and I have the enamel dots, the frames, the chipboard, and the brads. So um, I haven't played with that collection yet. Um, I just have those few pieces, and I think I might have uh, some project life cards somewhere. And then I just pulled some random <laughs> enamel dots and, uh, like this little thing of pearls has six of them. So instead of them sitting in my stash anymore, I pulled them out. They're going to make it on a layout. So that is my kit. So the plan is for us to use this kit for the month of June and um, there will be a couple process videos and then a layout share at the end of the month and then we'll do it again for July and August. So there are about 20 of us YouTubers so um, we will leave a list with all of their channels in the description box below and just take your time and hop around and have fun and get some inf inspiration to make your own little stash kit. We would love to see what you do. Um, if you have any questions, 
please just leave a comment down below and remember to wear your crown and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!